So in this problem, we're told that the position of a ball rolling in a straight line is given by x equals 2 minus 3.6t plus 1.1t squared, where x is in meters and t is in seconds. So we're asked to do a bunch of things. Uh, a says to determine the position of the ball at t equals 1 second, 2 second, and 3 seconds. Uh, B is going to ask, what is the average velocity over the interval from 1 second to 3 seconds? And C is asking, what is the instantaneous velocity at t equals 2 seconds? and at t equals 3 seconds. So let's start with a. So a says to determine the position of the ball at t equals 1 second, 2 second, and 3 second. So in order to find that, let's first just rewrite our position function. So x equals 2 minus 3.6t plus 1.1t squared. So this function, what it does is if we plug in any time t, it's going to give us uh, the, posi uh, the position of the function. So for A, it's asking determine the position at these different times. All we got to do is plug in each individual time. And it's going to give us the position at that time. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to call uh, each time. So like x sub 1 is just going to be uh, at time 1. So let's plug in 1. So 2.0 minus 3.6 times 1, right? We're substituting for t. Plus 1.1 times 1 squared. And then I'm not going to go, uh, I'm not going to show you how to solve it, but if you just plug in that, you should get minus 0.5. And keep in mind what position is. X is in meters, right? So position is just written as meters. So it's minus 0.5 meters. So let's do x sub 2 and x sub 3. So all you got to do is plug it in. So 2.0 minus 3.6 times 2 plus 1.1 times 2 squared. And if you go ahead and do that, you should get minus 0.8. And then it's in meters. And then for 3, it's going to be 2.0 minus 3.6 times 3 plus 1.1 times 3 squared. And if you go ahead and solve this, you should get that it equals 1.1. So 1.1 meters. Uh, these are going to be the answers to A. So let's move on to B. So B asks, uh, what is the average velocity over the interval uh, t equals 1 second to t equals 3 seconds? So we're solving for velocity. And in order to solve this, you need to know what velocity is. So velocity is equal to change in x, so change in position, over change in time. So we need to find the change in our x uh, from, one, from 1 to 3 seconds, and then our time is changing from 1 to 3 seconds. So we can do that by finding x sub 2 minus x sub 1 over t sub 2 minus t sub 1. So our final time minus our starting time, final position minus starting position. So let's go ahead and do that. So what is our final position? Well, let's actually start with uh, time. So our final time, it says, is from uh, t one second to three seconds. So our final time is three seconds minus our starting time, which is one second. So three minus one. That'll give us two on the bottom. But let's solve for the top. So what is our final position? So we need the position at three seconds. And luckily in A, they had to solve for that, right? So at three seconds, we're at 1.1 1 .1, uh, meters. So 1.1, and then we minus uh, our starting position, so our time at 1 second. So our time at 1 second is minus 0.5 meters. So minus 0.5. And so 1.1 minus minus 0.5, you just add it, it's going to become 1.6. So what we have is 1.6 over 2. Uh, that's going to be equal to 0.8. So we have 0.8, and keep in mind what velocity is. Velocity is meters over seconds, so it's meters per second. So we write this as meters per second. So the answer to B is going to be 0.8 meters per second. Uh, let's go ahead and do C now. So C says, what is the instantaneous velocity at t equals 2 seconds and t equals 3 seconds? And so I'm going to erase what we have on the board, and then uh, we'll attempt C. So for C, what we need is our initial equation. I'm going to rewrite that. So x equals 2.0 minus 3.6 times t plus 1.1 t squared. So uh, it's asking, what is the instantaneous velocity at these times? So to find this, what you need to do is take the derivative of your position function. Because the derivative is basically just instantaneous. So if we take the derivative of our position function and then plug in these times, it's going to give us the instantaneous velocity. So let's find the derivative of this. So we're going to call that uh, v of t. So the derivative of 2.0 is just going to be nothing, right? Zero. The derivative of minus 3.6t is just going to be minus 3.6. 
and then the derivative of 1.1 times uh, t squared is going to be 2.2t. And so this is going to be our velocity function. All we got to do is plug in 2 and 3, because that's what it's asking for at that time, the instantaneous velocity. So let's start with v sub 2. So if we plug in 2, minus 3.6 plus 2.2 .2 times 2. Then if you plug that in, uh, you'll get that equals 0.8. And so we're doing velocity, right? So 0.8 meters per second. Now let's do V sub 3, or just the instantaneous velocity at 3 seconds. So minus 3.6 plus 2.2 times 3. And if you go ahead and plug that in, you'll get uh, 3, and then it's meters per second. So these right here are going to be your answers to C. And so yeah, that's how you solve this problem.